Thanks for joining us here on WDTV.com, your source for local news and weather information. This is one of our three first alert HD sky cams. And this is another one pointing towards the south and west outside the station at the hills behind Stonewood and Nutter Fort. There's Emily Drive in the foreground there. You can see these on our website 24 hours a day. Unfortunately, in the short term, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch, which means that severe thunderstorms are possible in and around in the watch area through 10 p.m. on Tuesday evening. What are the threats? Well, flooding rains will be, a poss will be possible for many of the stronger storms. Also, some hail could be in the higher cases up to an inch and a half in diameter and also some wind gusts not out of the question in the stronger storms to get up to 70 miles an hour. Once again, those will be the exceptions and not the rule. So for the next seven days, here's what we would like you to remember. Lower humidity for the day on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. However, most of us should stay dry, but a thunderstorm during the evening hours will pop up in the higher terrain far east towards the Virginia border for Thursday and Friday. The weekend does have a few storms in the forecast and Sunday looks to be more active than Saturday. So for your Tuesday evening, more storms around. Some of those could be severe as they come through north central West Virginia. When the sun goes down, these thunderstorms should also be going away as well. But once again, some strong winds, hail and flooding rains will be possible this evening. Later on tonight, we'll fall into the middle 60s and humidity will drop as well, setting up a very nice day. Coming up for the day on Wednesday, humidity is down low. Temperatures in the upper 70s for highs for most of us. And a mixture of sunshine and clouds too. So it will be a nice day coming up for your Wednesday. We'll make it to 78 degrees in Weston, Glenville and Sutton. 76 in Grafton and Philippi and the University City. And lower 70s for our higher valley locations. Later this week, Thursday and Friday, humidity remains low. Most of us will stay dry, so some nice weather to round out the week. But thunderstorm or two may pop up in the mountains for your Thursday and Friday during the evening hours. As temperatures late this week, highs anyways, will be in the upper 80s. Very isolated storms on Saturday, highs in the middle 80s. Sunday a little bit more active. It does not at this point look to be an all-day rain, but that may change. You can always find the latest forecast right here on our website. Monday and Tuesday, humidity drops, lots of sunshine highs in the lower 80s. Thanks for clicking on WDTV.com.